America's Heartland is preparing for an ecological event that it has not seen in 221 years. Two groups or broods of cicadas are emerging from underground. It means billions, if not trillions, of the insects are expected to begin serenading parts of the United States with their noisy mating call. Different cicada broods come out every 13 or 17 years, but this year their appearances are occurring simultaneously, which has not happened since 1803. And in case you are wondering, that is the same year as the Louisiana Purchase. And here with more on this major ecological event is Dr. Gene Kritsky, also known as the Indiana Jones of cicadas. He is a professor of biology and former dean of behavioral and natural sciences at Mount St. Joseph College in Cincinnati, Ohio. Dr. Kritsky, thanks for joining us. Um, before we get into this invasion this summer, tell us a little bit more about cicadas themselves and the role they play in nature? Well, cicadas do an awful lot of good for the eastern deciduous forests. When they come out of the ground, the holes they, that they leave uh, is like a natural aeration. It allows more rainwater to get down to the roots of the trees but during the hot summer months. When they come out as adults, they're food for all sorts of predators, and that helps those predators' offspring survive uh, this year a little better. When the female lays her eggs in trees, that's like a natural pruning when those trees, uh, those twigs, uh, uh, break and snap and cause flagging, uh, and they'll have a better flower set next year. And finally, when they die and collect at the base of trees, they stink to high heaven, but that stink means they're decaying and they're actually leaving a nutrient cache around that tree. Yeah, well, I'll, that's probably something people don't know about cicadas. What a lot of people do know is they are so loud. Why are they so loud? Well, they're loud because the males ha are actually singing to attract a mate, and uh, they these males will fly into a tree, and as they start singing, they attract other males, and it gets louder and louder and louder. Indeed, I've I've measured this at 96 decibels, and to put that in perspective, that's louder than the jets flying into National Airport. Yeah, it is loud. I, I can concur on that. All right, so tell us more about these two groups of cicadas and where we should expect to see them, or, or maybe hear them. Sure, there are two there are two broods emerging. The 13-year cicada broods already started emerging in Georgia and the southern states. It's in Georgia, uh, northern Alabama, Mississippi, and, and Arkansas, and southern Missouri, and parts of Kentucky and uh, central Tennessee. It's just beginning to emerge in southern Illinois. Uh, the 17-year cicada brood hasn't yet started. Uh, they're going to occur north of Springfield, Illinois, in the northern half of the state, southern Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, and northwestern Indiana. So the cicadas are here. Half of them are, out, are coming out now and making a lot of noise in the south, and we're still expecting even more as the days go on. All right, something else I want to ask you about. Um, you know, some restaurants are actually putting these cicadas on the menu. doesn't really sound so appetizing to me. Um, but for those who are a little bit more adventurous, um, are they safe to eat? Uh, you can certainly eat the adults. Uh, the uh, The problem with cicadas is they've been found to actually absorb uh, lead from the soil, and that lead usually gets into the soil by uh, road treatments and and uh, 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 oil if it's a if it's a country road. Uh, so you would wouldn't want to eat a lot of them. Uh, they're perfectly safe to eat. Uh, I don't eat them anymore because they've been very good to my career, uh, and so I like them too much. But they they are not a sustainable food source. Once that if it comes out only once every 17 or 13 years, you can't count on it next year. Yeah, and I'm going to stay away on that note. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Kritsky. We appreciate it. Good to be with you. Uh, well, thank you. Have a good weekend.